everybody, it's Harry Box with the Technical Trader. At thetechtrader.com, it's Tuesday, July the 19th. These are the charts of the day. Well, again, again a uh, kind of a sloppy, mixed mix day today. Um, still had a lot of stock that did well, but some of the shorts were also doing well. So let's take a look at the long and short side of it. About 15 from each side, starting off with ACIA, which had been following this channel, a very tight one. Let's look at it on a 15-minute basis. You can see that since the Brexit low, the stock was traded down at 3297 they reached over 60, nearly doubling. And I think it may be long in the tooth here. My target was 61 in that range, and so we'll have to just see if it continues to trend up. Next angle or channel top, if it does pull back and consolidate and go again, could be about 65. <clears throat> CETX acting well. I like the way it's been constructive, constructing this pattern. Obviously, the move across 457 will get it moving. I have a target up around the five range, uh, five a quarter area six and three quarters six and a half three quarters and let's see if that ends up doing that that looks what it looks like <clears throat> nice pop in the cplp today following through to three days in a row um today up almost seven percent 2.76 million volume is good it's right up against resistance here and if it does break through which i think it can four and three quarters is my next minor target followed by five and a half syrent well and now that it's above two, we can talk about it. Stock's been moving steadily uh, for the last two and a half weeks when it was down to 144. And it's got up to 243 today, almost a dollar. And you can see how the stock, after basing and breaking out, is now up against longer term resistance. But the overall major declining top line broken, lateral price resistance being taken out. I'm looking for a test of the 265 area, followed by possibly something up around 365. See why is acting great in here. <clears throat> you can see the rising channel. It's one, two, three, and four. The fifth way is underway. I think takes us to 12 and a half, and then maybe 14. Nearly five days to cover on this one. Large inverse head and shoulders and the neckline appears to have been broken here. But it was a good snapback at three and a half percent. Big blowout move on Hudson. Now, if you look at the long term chart, you'll see the rising channel is calling for a move up near nine. Today's news about a major contract work worth up to 400 million was I think a game changer for this company and with 8.8 .8 days to cover the shorts may be trapped look for this to extend first towards about six and three quarters and then I'm looking at eight and three quarters nine that's a swing and a new one match doing very well and really having a nice run of it lately a new multi well let's just say all-time high above the initial IPO thrust that took it to 1617 today it closed at 1693, just six cents off the new all time high. My target 19 and a half, give or take a half a point. 6.3 days to cover on MTCH. Well, OPTT with a big pop and a little bit of an inside day pullback on a little much lower volume today. The volume surged again to 14 million. And the stock popped right near the old high. Now, that's an area you got to watch 10, 10, and 987. <clears throat> Somewhere between 990 and 1010. We get through that, we can see a pop into the 12, 14 range. Up next is Shopify. It's a swing trade. It's acting well after the pop out and four or five day flag today. It's moving again. Up a dollar six of 3.3%. It looks like it wants to go, and my target's going to be near 39.40. Simon. Well, Simo uh, Silicon Motion. New all time highs today. After a four day flag, it started to move yesterday. It followed through today. My target's 60 61 short term. Silica. Swing trade continues to act well, consolidating nicely. I'm looking for a test of the April 2015 highs, which took it all the way up near 40. 4.65 days to cover on that one. SPHS spiked up 28%. That's an 88 cent pop to four. It was high as 4.45, and it backed off. Still, <clears throat> the way this is looking now, <clears throat> on that angle, at the very least, today's angle brought it up to the top of the trend line. But I think that's going to do better than that. It looks like it's more likely to be in that mode, which if it extends, can get this all the way up in a seven, eight zone. But for now, let's look for a five and a half, three quarters of my near term target. <clears throat> and TDLC, a swing trade is doing very well today. It popped a dollar 46 or 9 percent, 2.7 million. There's 11 days to cover. The stock acts like it wants to go higher. This is way one, two, three and four. Fifth way is underway. Should take us to 2021.
Rebo, still doing well. Another 56 cents today, but more importantly, it's retesting the recent high up around 34.09. Today's high 34.21. I think the top of the channel could get tested. Comes in around 38 and a half. Another five points. And last is Urundi, which is acting very well. It only had a small inside day of $1.25, but it was up 6%. And it looks to me like a stock that may be headed towards the top of the redrawn channel, which says, tells me eventually high 30s, low 40s. But we're going to start out with a target around 24. That's the short side. Long side, look, look at the short side now. Starting with Athena Health. Well, we give you a short here. It went up a little higher, then rolled over hard, bounced. Looks like a long channel with a 1-2 has been formed. This is a big wedge. And if it rolls over here, look for at least 1-10, 10, 10, 12 maybe as low as 100, 105, or much more. If it breaks this entire pattern, you can see it plunge into the mid-80s. 26.4 days to cover. CALM looks like a head and shoulder with top is broken. The wedge broke here. The snap back to the neckline there. A big reversal off of there today from 46.71 to 41.5. Close 41.77 now. 238 or 5.4%. To me, we're headed lower. Targets at 34.5 and then maybe in the high 20s. Great computing. Looks like a head and shoulders type top with a rising wedge there and a plunge down towards support. It did create a bit of a bounce. Feels lower to me though. I think the gap gets filled at 23. The secondary target around 18 and a half may be tested. Seven days to cover on that one. Biotech Encanta, Enanta, excuse me. If you see the rolling over area here, that could retest 17 very quickly. Foot locker, nice rally back to the declining 50 and near the top of the channel augurs well for a failure. A large rising wedge that fails and rolls over and maybe plunges back towards the 50 to 3 range. That's our next target, followed by 47 and a half. LB, we had a very successful swing trade on it here and here. It plunged near 61 and we covered it. Now another wedge is formed. It looks to me like it fails here. We could really roll over and look at the low 50s. Luxoft did well as it broke down, but it had bounced off support right to resistance. A low volume with lousy technicals. I don't think we're done. Next stop, 40, 41, and then 36, 70. MFRM, another wedge is forming. It's still in a sharply declining trend with terrible technicals. When I look at the next support around 23, that's my target. MIK. Put on a new swing short today. That's a major reversal bar. We had a rising wedge with another major reversal bar. It just looks like a stock that wants to take out 25 and a half and plunge into the low 20s, maybe around 20 or there, about 20, 20 and a half as your next target. RCL backing off after yesterday's reversal bar was down a little bit more today, but I'm looking for this to fail and fail miserably. Take out 64 with the next target. Plunge into the mid, low to mid 50s. RH has been a disaster all year. It doesn't look much better. Another bear flag. Where can this go to? 1920. Red Robin Gourmet Burgers, as you know, but I give you a short there. I liked it there for a short. I like it now again for a short. Anything below 47, we're going to test 40. We may go lower. SIG, that short work came down hard from the wedge. And here, a rising wedge to resistance. It looks like I'm about to fail again with a target near 70. 20 points. Stamps.com continues to give. Today it dropped down to 68.82 before bouncing 2.5 points, still down 338 to 4.5%. There's support there. I'm not surprised it bounced, but I'm looking ultimately for this to go to high 50s. And lastly is Virtu. Which dropped another 75 cents or 2.7 percent and hit another new two and a half year low. I think we could be headed towards 22 on this one. And guess what? That's it for the charts of the day, both long and short of it. I'll talk to you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye bye.